Um, today we're going to make a like a ball track um, and I'm going to do it on a wall and I'm going to use some super non-sticky tape, um, tape that won't take the paint off of your walls. So it's just scotch tape that I'm using. It's actually double-sided tape. I found some double-sided tape in my house. Um, so I'll show you the materials and then um, I will show you the progress that I make. All right, so I have some cardboard and some toilet paper rolls, and then um, I also have a pair of scissors that I can use to um, cut the things into the shapes that I want, and then I also have a um, roll of double-sided tape, and I'm going to put the ball machine on this blank wall that I have, and again, do not use strong tape at all. Just use, because um, these things are not heavy to hold up, so just use um, some scotch tape or nothing like duct tape or anything like that because that is not going to be good for the walls all right so this is what i've made so far i just stuck the toilet paper roll on with some double-sided tape and then i found some other clear tape that i'm um helped keep the um the track on with and then i also rolled up some tape underneath and just stuck it on there to kind of give it a little bit more sturdiness so we're going to try it out real quick see what we got so far all right, so I'm gonna add a couple more tracks like that just to keep it go, kind of zigzag it down to the ground. And I'm gonna see if I can catch it into a cup. All right, so we added one more row to this and we're gonna see if it works. Let's put the ball in. All right, we're good so far. I'm gonna add maybe uh, just one more toilet paper roll and see if I can get it to catch in a cup. All right, this is my final product. Let's see if it works when I do it. All right, so cup knocked over, but that's okay. All right, so y'all come up with whatever you can. You can make it a lot more elaborate than this, but this is a ball machine. All right, hope you'll have a good day.